Peace Committee has once again committed political parties and their candidates to accepting the outcomes of Saturday's election. The signing was done in the presence of President Muhammad Buhari, Thabo Mbeki, who is former president of South Africa, Uhuru Kenyatta, who is former president of Kenya, Patricia Scotland, Secretary General of Commonwealth, the Dean of the Diplomatic Community and other members of the Diplomatic Community and several other dignitaries. Moya Thomas has more. The International Conference Center, a venue that has become very important to Nigeria's presidential election, was also the venue for second peace accord signing. The arrival of President Muhammad Buhari signaled the beginning of the two-hour event. An event that had all the 18 presidential candidates with only one female contender amongst them in attendance also had dignitaries from the international community, election observers, and the business world. The chairman of the National Peace Committee in his welcome remarks reminded the candidates of the importance of the peace accord signing. INEC also reiterates his readiness for the election come Saturday. Only the INEC has the constitutional authority to announce the results and to ensure that their supporters refrain disseminating fake news. We commence the movement of sensitive materials to the various local government areas nationwide. In the speech of President Buhari, he assured all stakeholders of support in ensuring a transparent process. I ask you to be firm and courageous. In every democracy, peace is a critical factor that brings political social and economic progress. The real business of the day was when the candidates and their party chairman were called for the signing of the accord, which states that all candidates and parties will accept the outcome of the results and will only seek legal redress in the case of any infraction. Moya Thomas, TVC News, Abuja.